Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in the Let's Farm Iowa series here on UMRV. So we are getting some cow chow made for the uh, heifers that we just brought in. And our experiment with the hay is not just gonna is not gonna work. <laughs> So, hay only with Maze Plus is not a thing. So it's, uh, if you're choosing to run Maze Plus, unfortunately, you're going to have to make TMR. So, we, that is what we're doing. We just got a load done for the cows here in this main pen with the barn in it. So we are making our second mix of TMR. It's seeming like right now with how many cows we have, one mix a day is plenty for 20 cows and then 25 heifers. So that's kind of nice right now because we are having to buy grass bales and our silage is still fermenting so we don't exactly have everything we need as of right now but luckily we have our grass pasture ground that is ready to go so because that we because we need those th or the grass uh, silage bales for our feed we uh, we are going to be wrapping that. So I think we'll have enough hay for now. We should be able to get one more cutting of our alfalfa field as well. So that's going to be good. Oh, I didn't take it all. That's a bummer. We might end up just tossing these into the bale ring there for these cows when we go over and grab some straw for them to lay on but yeah so we finished up the soybean field last night so the first week of October that's when we finished it up and what's gonna be the best way sorry I keep getting sidetracked what's gonna be the best way to do this so the shoots on the left and then we can open up this and then I think that we should be able to just pull up there to that side where the cows aren't eating and shoot it in there, hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to pull up to the side that they're standing on. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Here they come. We got any that are going to decide to run up and have, have a have a meal no okay anyway so uh, finished up the bean field right there right ahead of us first week of October we got it bailed up and we got it loaded the bales are just sitting there on the side of the field so we got to take care of that first we got to bring those up to get sold and then which I think that we're probably just gonna sell them up at the animal dealer uptown next to the uh, deer dealer and then we have grass to cut and uh, corn to harvest so that corn field is actually our last field for the fall here so no more harvesting after that field and then we'll be into just taking care of the cows and all that good stuff so get this shut up quick so they don't start running out don't need any loose cows right now because we got a busy day so I wish we could get those bales wrapped it's kind of a bummer that we can't get those wrapped so 
we will just be doing good old grass bales so let's get this backed in I will meet you over at the straw pile and we'll get these uh, we'll get some straw in for the cows in the pasture there just about to grab some straw here see how good we can do in in cab view easy peasy this loader makes it easy so it's good stuff beautiful let me know if you guys are using this loader it's uh I think I've said this in almost every video it's a good one <laughs> I like using in cab too oh is that gonna work you guys think that's gonna work or is it not gonna read it no didn't read it gotta go one by one I suppose let's just drop one in here you go there's one. Oh, it took both okay good deal yeah let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite way to load bales you guys like to use a telehandler, you like to use a payloader like this, skid steer. Does it kind of depend on what operation you're running? I think I've pretty much used a different way of loading and unloading bales in almost all of my series so far. So try to keep it different. Side note, we got we're starting to get some manure in there. So that's good. Always good to see. Be fun to scrape that up and get that spread at some point here. Hopefully, hopefully we can do that before the uh, winter time. Shut that down. And that is the jobs for today over here at the feedlot. Uh, we are going to get. Bale spike hooked up to the Challenger and uh, get those bales loaded up onto the flatbed and we'll get those hauled down. So we're just getting these last two stacks here loaded up. We just got four. Trying to do it very carefully to not disturb the bale pattern here. Don't want that top one getting knocked off. Create more work for us. So. And like, oof. we're knocking that front stack. There we go. One more. I was uh, not expecting this to be able to just pick these up like this. I thought I was maybe gonna have to get a go grab a weight for the back, but. Pleasant surprise that we can just do it without it. Maybe the wheel weights in the back are just enough to help us out with that. So get her backed up there and perfect. And then what are we gonna do with this guy? What is the plan? Maybe we can just sneak it on the back there. We gotta line it up first. Or maybe we can sneak it in the middle. I think, we'll, I think we'll try and sneak it in the middle there between those top ones. And it's not one to line up very straight for us. Let's see. We gotta do this without spiking one of the other bales. Ay. Let's see. We gotta get this lined up in the middle. Maybe that'll work. It's not the most centered thing, but can we do it? All right, <laughs> we're gonna be a little lopsided, but you know, it'll do it. Let's strap her down. Maybe. 
I was worried we didn't have straps on this trailer. Perfect. Look at those. Maybe we get another front strap on there. All right. So where can we sell these off to? So soybean. Soybean bales. Soybean straw. Not very much. So Miller's seed and feed. Patterson Grain Rudy Store. Miller's seed and feed. Is that the animal dealer? Rudy's animal dealer. Miller's probably would have been easier if I just would have there's Patterson's let's just tag it <laughs> I suppose uh, bales, joybean bales, Miller's tag where are you at? Oh, all the way over on Minnesota. All the way over there in Minnesota. Is it worth the drive? Yeah, I mean, we can get nine cents more. Miller's it is. Oh, goodness gracious, please don't tell me. Is this going to be the last draw? Even with this truck, we can't get it out. Come on, you can do it. Well, I'm going to have to go get the chain. Going to go get the chain, pull her out, and I'll catch you guys once we are uh, heading up that way to Miller's. So we're just here coming off the uh, highway exit, waiting for the light. And I was going to say we got ourselves a rogue bale, <laughs> but it looks like it fixed itself. It was just kind of, there's a bale there on the bottom that was kind of glitching a little bit as we were going over the bridge. And that was kind of, that was worrying me a bit. I was not thinking that uh, we, we were going to make it. I thought it was going to explode our trailer and all the other bales, but I, uh, Dare not to unstrap it. See, there it is. It's going again. Let's hope we can make it. <laughs> Let's tag this again. So it's right there. Just waiting on these lights. These lights are way too short on the greens and way too long on the reds, it feels like. But, with that being said, I do like the mechanics still of the lights. I mean, they're perfect for the traffic, but when we got a full trailer of bales here, we can't get up to speed quick. It's not fun. So, where do we think... I'm going to take a chance on it being that we have to turn... Yeah, that guy's honking at me. Hey, I have to wait for the red light there, fella. I'm going to take a chance that we have to turn up here to get into Miller's. Because it didn't look like down the way there on that main highway that we were going to be able to get in there anywhere. So Just kind of roll through this stoplight, or stop sign. Uh oh. Am I going to be wrong or am I going to be right? I'm not sure. Oh, looks like I'm going to be... Hey, no one saw that. That guy's okay. That guy's car's okay. Amazon? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect an Amazon warehouse to be right here next to a uh, feed cell point. Or a bale cell point. Amazon, they sell everything, though. They, uh... They're, uh... 
literally selling everything these days, so let's see. Oh. Ourselves just push this bale over here. There we go. See, I knew that was going to happen. Need to get a loader down here or something if we're going to keep selling bales to these guys. Just in case things like this happen so we don't have to push these bales by hand. It's pretty heavy. There we go. Ah, huh, not too bad. What did we go from... What did we, what did we just earn ourselves? Let's see. T -t -t October. Sold bales. $16,000. I'll take it. That's uh, one heck of a haul there from some straw, or some soybean straw. We should have had more, but my luck with this map, it's just, it's not been great. <laughs> the ground reset for some reason once again, and I, look, I guess I could have turned in here, it looks like. But oh yeah, the ground just like reset on itself again, so it like wiped away all of the soybean straw that we had um, from the last video so yeah that was uh, we could definitely could have earned ourselves some more much needed money but anywho we play on and we push through so uh, we'll see you back at the farm So we're just down here at the field getting a worker going. Um, they are new to swathing or mowing, I guess, more, more like it's not not so much swathing; it's more mowing. But um, new to the job, so we got them up and going. Kind of showed them the ropes a little bit, how to how the machine works and stuff, and they're off. So. The uh, rest of the crew is already at the cornfield, ready for us. We have a semi up there, and the grain cart, and my corn head, so uh, they're just waiting on me, so I need to get in the combine and, and head down there, so luckily it's right down the road. Let's fire this up. If we can sneak through by the semi, we haven't actually got that moved yet, so we'll have to move that once we get a load hauled back up here. Honestly, might just end up tearing up that little grass patch there and getting getting some gravel laid down there because we keep just driving over the grass there, and that's I don't really feel like there's any point to even having grass there if we're gonna keep driving over it, so. We have to haul in some gravel and see what we can do, but for now, let's get ourselves into some corn. Just getting unfolded now. Oh, we didn't lower. Nice. Good start. Lower her down. There we go. That looks much better. We're just going to... Get a little, uh, oof, what is going on? That's quite a swath, cornstalk swath. Not really what I was looking for. We're going to try and just get a little hole dug out here for the grain cart to get in. So we're not sitting on the road. I mean, I know it's pretty much a dead end road and it's, but it's just still a technically a public road. So all my days on this farm there hasn't been any vehicles so we can risk it but might as well just do it right and dig a dig a hole in here so we can get some equipment in here so there we go pull him in here yeah that is quite a uh, corn stalk swath I don't know <laughs> we'll try I was planning on swathing the or er, uh leaving a swath there but if that's what it's gonna look like all the way around it's gonna be a pain in the butt to even bail so let's see
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm curious if it's like this, if it leaves such a big swath for even like other combines, or if it's just us. Goodness, we're bouncing. We are bouncing away. I kind of want to get a baler down here just to see. Yeah, oh my goodness. Okay. We're not going to be doing that. If that's what it's going to be. <laughs> Holy cow. That's nuts. That is nuts, but. Yeah, we're gonna get our headlands all done up here. Corn harvest is probably my favorite combining to do. Is definitely definitely some corn. I don't know why. Just kind of looks good and yeah. It's just unique because you get to use a corn head and I don't know. Just enjoy me some corn harvest. So. We're just getting a uh, little bit through this headland here, and uh, since this field is such a weird shape, show you very odd shape. I think we're just going to kind of do it in sections. So I'm thinking that we kind of go north and south here, long rows, just on this section here. And then once we are done here, we can go east and west with the rows. And I also thought it would be good to just, because it would help with efficiency for the grain cart, because this, uh, at least with the headlands, the, it would take a while for the grain cart to kind of drive around the headlands like that all the way to where we were, so... Hopefully we can get to a spot where the grain cart can kind of get to us before we're completely full. But that might not be... And, well, yeah, perfect. This is a decent spot that we can unload. I mean, it's not the most level thing in the world, but... At least we don't have to drive the grain cart all the way around the field to get to where we are. Let's take this grass, grass here, ditch, ditch side here, and we'll unload them backwards. It's gonna be okay for now. And we'll pull onto the field. And we'll sit here on the edge. Just coming off and up down row. We got our headland cut three passes down on that side. So now we will swing around here and cut another headland. Probably just have to do one. And then we'll work our way from this side that we're going, which would be our west, to our east in this section. Just because there's no point in once we get down to the end of this headland driving back. We'll just do two on this side because we do have a little bit of grass there. A little grass verge on the side there that we can utilize as turning space if we need to. But, yeah, I think, I think this is a good plan. I'm slightly bummed about the corn stalks not working. I was looking forward to messing around with those and making some extra money but if it's gonna be like that I jeez I don't know if I want to mess around with them much I kind of want to take the pickup back to the farm and just kind of see what the deal is like if we bail it how it'll work out with those big piles there I don't know we are going to back up here. I'm going to swing her around. Risky business backing up in a combine. Not the greatest visibility, but when you're in a field, it's not that big of a deal. 
Also, as you can see, we don't have the best yields right now, which is to be expected. We weren't able to get the amount of nitrogen down that we really wanted to prior to harvesting because, as you all know of our issues that we had, we'll set a GPS course here. We'll just kind of take these last few rows off like this as we make our way down. What's that looking like? Not sure why we're offset. Hopefully that doesn't mess with it. But we'll get into this a little bit. We're fighting the, the rain. Well, we're not fighting it yet, but we're kind of fighting the time because we know the rain is coming. Luckily, we don't need to dry our hay, like grass there. It's just going to be wet baled. So that'll be good. Don't have to worry about that with the rain. And luckily, corn isn't that, isn't the most moisture sensitive crop. Luckily. So, after the, if we do get rained out here before we get done, we should be able to just hop right back into it once it's done, just about, so. Good thing we left that green card there. I had a feeling. I did. I had a feeling that that's what it was gonna... This is kind of where we were gonna end up, so. We're just coming up here on the end of these longer up-down rows. I might be calling an audible a little bit, and once we get turned around we're gonna my auger coming out nice we're going to maybe take them east-west didn't see that no one saw it no one saw it depth perception there we go so we might be going east-west now with these Usually I don't you wouldn't prefer to be changing direction all the time, but obviously with corn it's not that big of a deal because it's still in a row kind of but in no matter what direction you're going, east or west, north or south. But with this field just being so weird, it's just kind of one of those things where it might be worth doing. Maybe we'll take this last north south piece off. I don't know. I'm always changing my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to go east-west on the rest of these. And that will make it a little bit easier. Well, I don't know about easier, but quicker. A little bit shorter passes going north and south here, but we'll get her figured out. First time harvesting these fields, so got to kind of get an idea for what's going to, what your plan is going to be, so that is going to be our plan. So I'm going to actually throw this into a quick time lapse for you guys, and we'll catch you when we're about done with this little section.
So we are now just about done on this little section here. I think we're going to save the rest of it for the next day. Because I do want to... We need to check the weather, but I'm hoping that we have enough time to get the rake going on the grass field and maybe even the baler running behind it, so I might start working on that as well after we get this little spot done. I want to do some testing with those corn stalks, see if that's going to be troublesome or not, but we have some jobs we got to get done still, and it's almost... It's getting to the point where it's going to be dark, so uh, I think that's where we're going to call it a video. So I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Pretty much right when uh, I was planning on ending the video, it uh, started raining, so pretty good timing. But wanted to throw that in there for you guys. Alright, we'll see you later.